let's do another practice problem. I'm gonna do this one and I, I wrote, I made this one up um, and it's not really hard and it's not really calculation, there's just a little bit, but set up an LRC circuit with an AC source and we're gonna do that and use a resistor of 10, a capacitance of 0.5 farads and an inductor of five Henry's and show that resonance occurs at omega is one over the square root of LC. So let's just <clears throat> calculate that. So if I say L equals five, C equals 0 0.5, uh, omega zero, let's call it, is one over the square root of LC. So what would that be? Let's get that value. So clear, I'm just gonna put in my calculator, one divided by the square root of parentheses, oh, did it, L, a point, if I do point, no wait, this is, yeah, let's just do that. So this is gonna be uh, 0.25, so point two five and that's two uh, omega equals two radians per second now I'm going to need the frequency because the uh, the simulator uses the frequency so the frequency uh, omega is two pi times the frequency so the frequency is going to be omega over two pi so let's do that divided by two equals divided by why did I do that in my calculator? Divided by pi equals. So I get uh, 0 0.32 hertz. Okay. Now let's jump to the simulator and see if we do get resonance with that. Now, computer. This is the FET simulator. Hopefully you've seen this before. Uh, so I'm going to go to simulations, physics, uh, and then I like to come over here. You can't see the whole thing because, uh, and I just uncheck motion, sound, uh, blah, 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 blah. I want that one. Okay, and here it is. This is my AC virtual lab. Let's click that one. And then let's run it. And there we go. Okay, so we have all these items over here that we can pull into our space. And this is, there's some other stuff right there. That's fine. So let's just build this. I'm gonna build it as simple as possible. So I'm gonna start with my source, and then I have resistor, and then I have a capacitor, and then I have an inductor. It doesn't matter which order. And this doesn't look nice, and that's fine. Um, and now I need a wire going from here back to there. I can do that with just two wires. So I'm gonna connect one right there. I'm gonna make a little triangle. Now I need to check the values, right? So the resistor has a resistance of 10 ohms. That's what I wanted. The capacitor was 0.1, and I said the capacitance was 0.5. So let's change this to 0.5, which I don't think it goes up that high, 0.2. Okay, let's change this to 0.1. That's what I had in the thing. Okay, so I do need to recalculate that. Uh, let me recalculate that real quick. Clear, so that's gonna be a frequency of, uh, um, angular frequency of one divided by the square root of, let's see, so I have 0.1 times five, so 0.5 of 0.5, 1.4. So omega is 1.41. So the frequency is gonna be that, divided by two, divided by pi, and I get 0.22. Okay, so now I got that set, and that's at five, so we're all set. So now I need to measure the voltage. So this is, if I click this, it's running at uh, 0.5 hertz. So let's put our voltage, I'll put it up here. I'm gonna put this over one end of the resistor and the other end. I wonder if you can make that bigger. Why is that bigger? No, that zooms in, that's not what I want. Okay, so here you can see I have it going from negative, from five to negative five, approximately. Let's change the voltage source uh, to a frequency, let's increase the frequency, let's make it really high, so one. Is that gonna increase or decrease the voltage? And you see here that it's smaller. If I make this as small as possible, 0.1, now it's going from, let's say 2.0, it's a little bit higher, so five, down to negative five. Now let's put it at 0.22, that's my calculated value. So 0.22, and it takes a second to kind of settle in. So you'll notice here that I'm getting a much larger 
uh, voltage of almost nine, nine to negative nine. Uh, that should be the peak. If you plotted the max voltage as a function of frequency, then you would get that nice little peak. And that would be a fun thing to do for a lab. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to take all the time to do that. You, you'd have to change the frequency, let it settle in, uh, record the maximum voltage, plot that, write it down, and make a graph, and that would be fun. So this is important because this is how we find resonance. This is how uh, a lot of you know radio receivers work. They tune in on that frequency. So if you have that frequency of oscillation, that's what you get. And that's pretty cool.